to. I just left the Goodwill Outlets in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I am currently at uh, 5301 Wilkinson Boulevard in Charlotte, North Carolina. Here there's a Goodwill uh, outlet and there's actually a boutique attached to it. And um, I spent approximately $30, I'll go, uh, $35, I'll go through my entire receipt. And I will go through the different haul pieces kind of as fast as I can. Uh, I'd like to show you what $35 can get you in the Charlotte Goodwill bins. And you can decide for yourself if you see if, if it's worth it. Leave me some comments if you like the, uh, the things I've picked out. Um, so let's start. So the first item that I picked out is um, it's a brand called Blank New York City. It's, um, it's a brand sold by Nordstrom's. It's just a cute pair of distressed skinny jeans. Um, they have a cute design on them. They're not one of Nordstrom's highest end jeans, but they are uh, a good quality pair of jeans that is evident when looking at them, feeling them, and they're also in my size, so that is um, ideal. The next item that I have is these uh, vans. So these are vintage uh, uh, vans uh, with the flame on them and these typically will sell online for anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars um, there's a fairly decent demand for them and they are very cute shoes in size seven and a half and so my size as well so I will be trying those on when I get home uh, the next item that we have I'm gonna give you just one of each because I just went through this like twice so these are REI water shoes for children. They're really cute. They're size nine uh, for children. I, I don't know about children, medium. I, my goodness, I need to research these more, but they seemed, uh, they seemed cute and it seems like in the season for it, so it seemed about right. These right here are Prevo uh, slip-ons. They're like these brown and pink, very cute. I believe they're made by Clarks. They're, they are really are truly in, in good to excellent condition. It doesn't look like they've been worn very much at all. The next item that I have is this um, Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, just sheer blouse. It'll just look really cute with a pair of, um, a pair of leggings or a skirt. Um, this right here is, uh, a lot of people call this a bread and butter item. It's Victoria's Secret Pink Nation sweatshirt. Um, very cute, in an amazing condition. It, it barely looks like it's ever been used. Uh, still, of course, a good washing needs to be done to get any thrift off of it. And, um, there we go. Great secret. The next item that we have is this um this liverpool football club scarf and so this is like it feels like it's still folded up like it was in the store but it's um it, it's never been used and these value anywhere between uh, 20 and 30 dollars on ebay very cute very very nice the next item that i have uh normally i don't pick up this brand but this is a bb um not that there's anything wrong with it they're actually excellent just not as good on the resale in my opinion but um, I picked these up because of the color and the cut. So they have this like very cool salmon going on with them and they're skinny. I mean, they kind of hit the mark on everything and they're size 30, which normally would be a little uh, big, but uh, BB likes to run small. So I think that these will possibly fit me, if not even be too small. I might be like a 31 or even a 32 in BB. Um, BB is something else, isn't it? Um, but. The next uh, top I have is BCBG Max Azria, and so it's got a really cute little cutout back, um, and it is in excellent condition. Again, BCBG Max Azria. Um, I, I sold a couple shirts like this, but um, not too many, but um, I liked it, and so it was a nice cute shirt that you might be able to go out with. Next item I have is a piece of, uh, of art, and so it's really just a, um, it's the Congress of the United States, Wednesday the 4th of March, 1789. Uh, so it looks like a document from New York State. Um, it's a print, of course, um, but, but it does look pretty cool. And so, I don't know, if I have any history buff friends, I might have them take a look at it as it only costs $3. And so um, I figured, why not go for it? The next item that I have, is, I don't know if I introduced these because I actually have done this three times in two other videos trying to make this, but that's all right. 
so these are vans and so they've kind of got this retro look to them I've looked them up they are they are kind of a hot style in the vintage uh, world and so they go for about 20 to 30 dollars on eBay though vans does have a new version of them so you can get them brand new for like in the like around 70 dollars but they still hold and people buy them around there the next item that I have are these blank New York City jeans. And so these have a really cute design on them. They're skinny jeans. Um, it's it's a brand from, uh, it's a brand that Nordstrom carries. It's not one of their highest end denims, but it's definitely a good quality denim. And I could feel that upon touch. And then of course, after I researched them, they were um, a, a very nice uh, jean brand. And so we'll see what I can do with those. Next item I have is this Harold's dress. And so this is technically a vintage dress. I don't think I'll do well with this on eBay or Poshmark or anything like that. If I open an Etsy store one day, then possibly this would be cute for it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet with it, but I knew I couldn't pass it up because it was just so adorable, these sleeves. This looks like something I used to would have loved to wear in the office, um, but it's a size two, so I still could afford it in the office back then. Um, but anyway, it's an adorable vintage dress, and I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I'm going to take it home and see what I can do, shape it up a little bit. It's not in bad condition at all, but it's definitely a high-end dress that's super cute. This next item is a pair of jeans. Um, color jeans uh, by Caslon, similar to um, that last brand, Blank New York City. Um, this one is also a Nordstrom brand, and it, you can feel the quality in them. Um, they're hemmed. Uh, they're they're just nice pants, nice quality pants, and they're size six. So um, usually that's kind of where I like to sit and. Um, I don't know. I'll try. I'm excited to try them on and see if they're going to become part of my closet or my posh closet. Um, you just never know with jeans. It's all about body type and, and if things do end up fitting you. Um, the next item that I have, uh, a woman actually found these for me in there and I was so super thrilled because she was looking at it and oh, she, she, she could see it in my eyes um, that it's so cute. It's by um, Dang Goodman Trip New York City. It's just this cute jacket. I hope to wear it for you guys one day. It's just, it's just adorable. Um, and it's a size large though. So I could definitely feel that in the sleeves when I tried it on. We were all trying it on in the aisles. Um, it was a little long so I rolled it up. But the, everything else fit perfectly. And so it's a super cute jacket. I hope to, I hope to get that um, listed. But also get some good wear time out of it too. Um, the next item that I have is some Levi's 511 jeans. Um, they are skinny. Um, they kind of are 511 skinny jeans. Yeah, they, they're this dark wash and uh, like, no, like a gray, gray wash. There we go. Very cute. And here we go. Those go there. Those actually match that jacket perfectly, but I don't think I'll be able to fit into these. I think they're smaller. And so sad days. We can't win them all. This is like a... I don't know thing, but it's like does that. Um, I was intrigued. Has no brand, smells weird. Gonna hand wash it and see what happens there. That's what happens sometimes with the bins. Like you just do stuff that's like weird and buy stuff that maybe you wouldn't normally buy because it's just 50 cents. Um, this next item I'm pretty excited about. This is a skirt. I normally don't pick up too many skirts, but this is like this like leather and it's got like white on it. And then what I saw, which made me pick it up was this right here. Moss Cheeto. I think that's how to say it. I don't know, cause I'm not fancy yet, but that's all right. Those dollars will be fancy. Okay. So that skirt is really exciting. And I'm hoping that maybe I can get like, I'm hoping that I could get maybe, maybe over a hundred for it, but we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like holding my breath on anything, but that is an excellent designer brand that is worth something. These, no idea what brand they are. Super cute. Look at those shoes. They're leather. They're made by someone. They're, they're made in USA. I have no idea by who. Like there's this inside panel has some, it's really cool. The leather and everything like that. Like there's definitely been some I have no idea. I might need to take like a magnifying glass. Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. 
Ugh. I don't even know if they're on my size. I have to put them on. This thing looks hands like stitched together, like even at the sole. Like it, there's some wear on the sole clearly, but um, it, it's an excellent shoe and you can feel the quality and it's, it, it is just notable throughout. Um, the next item that I have are another pair of shoes. These are Foot Joy. These are brand new um, with tags. Uh, so these are women's size seven Foot Joy golf shoes, Lancaster Catherines, and they're a 2019 version. And so I think those will be able to sell pretty easily. Um, the next item that I have is a, I've never heard of this brand. I'm gonna have to research when I get back. It's called Harold Powell, a uh, genuine, uh, made in Italy genuine leather so we'll see it's just felt if it's really cute though it's like black suede on the outside um, I really don't understand that about leather and suede I'm not gonna get into that here um, but so these are my next item and so these were actually given to me by someone else that was looking at them too and so they're just absolutely adorable little rain boots they're they're rain bops by beehive and they've got this cute little design on them um, there is a little damage on, on this side, but um, if I end up wearing them, I definitely don't care. We'll see if I, if I, if I end up reselling them, but I really hope to get some, some fun use out of those. Like, I've never been excited for a rainy day up until right now. Um, this is a light bulb that I got for 50 cents, so yay me. I think it's a decent price for a light bulb. Um, I'll see if it works. I've never bought a light bulb from Goodwill before. Um, the next item that I have, we're, we're running to the very end and there's not as many ex exciting, but, but there's a couple cute things. This is an L.L. Bean um, Gore-Tex um, uh, like rain jacket. It's really cute and it's a size small, but I, I think this can definitely go medium or even large. Like smalls are equally kind of tight on me. But, um, but like, I like medium stuff, and this is like a big medium in my opinion. But an excellent rain jacket, and again, it was raining this morning, and I think they'll match these boots, so bring on the rain tomorrow. Not really, I want the sun. So the next item I have, I put on in my first video as I was introducing it, because I couldn't get, it, it's just very soft, that's all, it's this blazer. I don't know the brand, Monto, um, but it's just, uh, it's just, um, whether or not it's even worth something, it's very nice, um, very good quality of a little blazer. Um, and I'll do some more research on that at home. The last two items that I got were both brick brack accessories, and they are kind of personal items. The first one is this little puppy dog. Um, it was a candle. Look at that, it's a puppy dog candle. And um, like, I don't know who could ever consider burning that down. So I was kind of trying to save the puppy. Um, so I saved the puppy for $1.99. Um, but it, it was uh, from Poodle Paradise in Palm Beach, Florida. And they almost sold this boy for $25 to be melted down. But you know. There we go. Um, the last item that I have is this candle sticker on it. And this is just for me. Um, and then I got this little candle that's in the shape of a tea kettle. And I'm going to stick it on here. You guys, I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna burn this. I don't know if that's not supposed to happen because it's in a pretty shape, but I'm, I. I'm not burning down the dog, but I'm burning down the teapot. Not because I don't like teapots, but I just think it'll look really cute on my coffee table doing work while I uh, watch this go down um, uh, over a cup of tea. Um, so that's everything that I have. And um, and again, my so my full charge on my receipt from Goodwill was $36. And that's after I rounded up to, uh, to they, they always ask to donate um, to their, um, to the Goodwill Foundation where they help people get jobs and uh, a variety of other services. So uh, $36 for all those items. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, excited to get home and start doing some research and doing a write-up so I could tell you guys all about what it's like inside the walls 
of the Goodwill Outlet in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I have pictures, but they don't like you to bring your cameras. 